Hey there everybody, it's Nathan Cool with NathanCoolPhoto.com and in this video I want to show some hardware mounting options for shutter releases, especially when it comes to real estate photography. Now if you're using a cam ranger then you won't really need necessarily any of this. You know that uh, if you've watched any of my videos and from my books I'm not necessarily a fan of using a cam ranger. I do find that I can move through a property more quickly by just using a simple shutter release mechanism. One that's mounted to the camera and then one I have here mounted on my belt. Now there have been some discontinuations of products as I talked about in my last trigger video which uh, we know that now the Cactus V5 is no longer available and that was one of my favorite uh, triggers all around for doing all kinds of stuff including having a pair for a shutter release. So as you know lately I've been moving toward the Young Newest and I've been favoring that for anybody starting real estate photography looking also just for a shutter release mechanism. Very inexpensive setup here and if you buy for this particular camera it comes with the shutter release cable but you don't want to have that just dangling off of your camera and what do you do about carrying one with you so it's a little bit hard to tell here because of where I'm cropped but there's a lot of options so let's cover this one first and then I'm going to get in close and I'm going to show some mounting hardware options this is the easy part here with this little setup here it's very simple. It's uh, used for a lot of cell phones. Uh, a lot of uh, times you find something you can clip a cell phone to your belt or whatnot, and there's just a little sticky thing that's on the end that uh, goes onto a clip, kind of like the spider monkey holster you'd use for speed lights. You've seen me use that before, and then that just clips to your belt. Now, the Yang Nuo, though, is small enough it can fit in your pocket. So that's really just another option if you don't have room in your pocket for some reason, if you need to do that. If you do use one of these mounts, note that it does mount to the back of the uh, battery uh, compartment easiest because of all the other control up here. So if you do that when you're uh, having that mounted there, make sure that if you're clipping this on and off as a quick release, which you shouldn't have to do very much throughout a shoot, that you do also keep a finger on that battery compartment. Anyways, that's the easy part. Let's get into the hard stuff here and showing what would you do about mounting the other, the receiving end of the shutter release pair to your camera so it isn't dangling off of it. So first up is just a very simple clamp. So taking a look here, you can see I've got the Young Nuo here. It's got its cord pushed in there. Let me just go ahead and disconnect the cable from here so we don't have to worry about that. It'd be a little bit easier to show everything. What this is, it's a very simple little clamp that uh, goes on. It's like a simple uh, backdrop clamp. And nowadays these come with a little ball head on them. So you can loosen that ball head and you can move this around just about any way you like. Now the trick is with this is that it doesn't come with a mount to put the hot shoe into. So let me go ahead and just disconnect the, uh, the Young Nuo trigger from here so I can show you a little bit better. So with the Young Nuo trigger out of there, you can see there's a little uh, cold shoe adapter that I've put on top here. And this is a key here, is that all of these mounts that come like this, the thing to look for, it's called a quarter inch mount. That's a very common mount for speed lights, for cameras. It's kind of an industry standard. You'll also see that called a quarter uh, inch uh, 20. And of course, that's talking about the thread. So with that ball head though, this guy can move around just about anywhere you want. So by clamping this on then to, uh, for instance, here it's on the center column of the tripod, but you could put it on a leg, any place else you might want. And then with the ball head, you can move it around. Then all you need to do is then just place on a cold shoe adapter on top of here. Tons of them you can get. Of course, once again, I have links down in the, uh, in the description for this video for that. Once you've got that on there, then you can just clamp in your, uh, you know, slide in your uh, trigger however you want. You can have this mounted all, you know, before you ever get on site. And so wherever you feel comfortable with that, and then you just have the wire coming out of it. Let's take a look at another option. So here's another option to consider, and these things are coming out all the time because of a lot of popularity with GoPros and other type of action cameras. So this also has a ball head on it uh, where you can, it, uh, it's like a C clamp. I'll get to that in just a second. But once again, the Young Nuo trigger just slides into a cold shoe. I'll break this apart here so you can get a little bit of a better idea. I took, once again, the cable would go in here and goes up to your camera. And being a ball head, once again, you could, you could flip this around any direction that you want doing anything you need to, but let's go ahead and just uh, take this guy out. So you can see once again we have a cold shoe adapter here, and that cold shoe adapter, just like before, is screwed onto that quarter inch mount, that very popular 
quarter inch mount. It might be a little hard to see because this case they uh, have the screw black. But that's the uh, the idea once again is that you know you have this common mount. It's made for speed lights for cameras and especially like I said some of these action cameras like GoPros. You'd, this is made for going on a motorcycle or a handlebar of a bicycle. And all that it is, it's a C-clamp. You'd unscrew this thing and you can just clamp it wherever you want. So um, it clamps on just about anything. A little more secure than what you'd have out of that uh, backdrop type clamp. More universal where the backdrop clamp, yeah, it kind of overlaps some of this. It might snap off maybe under some circumstances, but very rare. But a C-clamp like this is extremely sturdy. The one thing with this particular one, once again, links are down in the um, description for this video, is that the ball head does doesn't have a tightener on it, so that I could see wearing out at some point, and it only goes up to about a 45 degree angle at any one point, so I can't get it completely straight up and down as I could with the other hardware. Still a good option though, and it's so universal, it can go anywhere. These things are very inexpensive, and they're coming out all the time. Once again, you just look for something that would be like a handlebar mount for an action camera for a bicycle or a motorcycle. So the key here is to remember that when it comes to mounting anything that's non-standard is that there is a standard and that's that quarter inch thread and it's also known as a quarter inch 20 and 20 is actually the spacing of the threads. So having that there's a whole universal array of tons of stuff out there. Uh, cold shoe adapters that fit on all kinds of things and once again a lot of these clamps that are out there today are for action cameras. Very small little devices or for other small lights. They all have that same standard thing. So there's new clamps coming out all the time. Knowing that if something gets discontinued you can't find it you're probably going to be able to find something very similar that once again can clamp someplace be able to put a cold shoe mount on it or be able to actually then even just screw into the bottom of some other devices as well. Anyways, I hope this video is useful for you and that you can use some of this in your photography as well. If you did like this video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It won't cost anything and as soon as one of these videos is posted, you'll be the first to know. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, and get out there and shoot something.